previously on C&D's Adventure. Gabe, what's happening? The storm. It's it coming. is coming. <laughs> the storm is coming. A deadly storm approaches as its violent winds spread terror across New York. Alex has a treacherous journey that only the bravest and most resilient of people would be able to complete. I made it. <laughs> What's up, Gabe? Hi. And Sydney. Hey, and check it out. What I'm really excited about. The oh, chop. Che oh. That's <laughs> Ooh. Sydney, sh uh, Sydney showed me the spot to get it. All right, taste test. I got high expectations. It actually like already smells like I remember. Mmm. <laughs> mmm, <laughs> whoa. Get it, Gabe. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Hopefully you're enjoying the vlog so far. Just uh, wanted to hop on this voiceover real quick and give you guys a little more context to the whole storm situation that happened. Uh, so enjoy this footage of Sydney, Gabe, and I riding around Central Park on our e-bike, e-scooter, and e-skateboard, respectively, uh, while I tell you more of the story. So, what you've been watching so far has been from Wednesday, and the storm footage was actually the day before on Tuesday. Which, by the way, was the first day I was back in New York City in over two whole years. It was insane. It was a blast. So uh, check out that vlog if you haven't yet. Uh, anyways, so Gabe was the last guy hanging out with me uh, that first day at the end of the day. And we were chilling just a few blocks away from Times Square, just hanging out in this little seating area. And I kid you not, there were so many just classic New York characters just all hanging about. There was like a few people playing music. And like there was this old dude that was just dancing like no one was around and then eventually like this old lady came up and started dancing with him it was quite quite beautiful honestly anyways literally out of nowhere and I think it's because you know the buildings are so tall you can't you know really see that much of the sky when you're that downtown you know all of a sudden the storm just it, it just starts coming like it starts getting dark really fast and then all of a sudden like a light switch I kid you not or a Nintendo Switch. Uh, no, 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 I can't, I can't. Um, all of a sudden, the atmosphere just changed. Like, you could feel this energy, almost like electricity in the air. Kind of like uh, in Mario Kart, when, like, you're about to get, like, struck by, like, the lightning or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the wind started picking up. Like, the whole, the air just got tinted. Like, the sky everywhere just got tinted, like, a weird color. And, you know, so Gabe and I just start booking it. You know, not, not booking it. We're not. So, Gabe and I just start head in our ways right uh eventually he splits off he goes underground into the subway station and i just keep going uh back to my ferry which i took over the river to get into the city in the first place i was uh staying in jersey at the time i kid you not right when we split ways it starts getting super windy and like dust and like new york like sand from the streets and whatever i guess is just blowing in my eyes like it was really gross. I was kind of scared. And then the rain starts coming, and it was those big, heavy raindrops, and it was just coming down real hard. So I just start booking it. You know, I got all my electronics on me. I don't want to lose any, you know, any of the footage or, or my camera or laptop or anything I had on me, right? So I start going and going and going. All of a sudden, it is way too windy. Like, it's getting windier as I'm getting towards the coast. And it's so windy at this point that I have to bunker down. Like, I was literally about to get blown over. I mean, check out my hair right here. It's literally blowing completely horizontal. Like, my hair's pretty heavy. That's ridiculous. So yeah, I was by this little construction site, kind of the scaffolding and whatever, and I was just, you know, kind of in the corner as much as I could. I was still getting soaked. I was already soaked at this point. 
but hopefully, you know, a street light or something wasn't gonna come and fly and hit me and knock me out. So I was good for a second. There was other people around, you know, bunkered out too in like doorways and stuff. Like you couldn't move. Um, at this point though, when I'm bunkered, I'm only two blocks away from the ferry. So finally, it settles down enough or the wind does enough that I can book it the last two blocks and I made it. Here's a picture of me soaked in the bathroom afterwards. Um, but then on the ferry ride back over, I got some really dope ass shots. I mean, check this one out. I literally caught lightning on my GoPro. It was so cool. So yeah, you could say uh, New York City had an interesting way of welcoming me back. <laughs> Anyways, don't have much more footage for the rest of this second day in New York since I actually met up with a ton of friends I haven't seen in years. I was trying to just, you know, live in the moment and not worry too much about getting vlog footage and whatnot, you know. Trying to soak up as much, you know, quality time as I could because it's literally been over two years since I've seen some of these people. But enjoy the rest of what I did capture today. Right over there. We filmed the Pokemon video. We got a bunch of rare cards that time. Yeah, we did. Big two. Didn't we get like a secret rare or something? We might have got a secret rare, yeah. yeah. That we was such a dumb video. <laughs> we gotta do it again now that it's popular. Yeah. <laughs> make it that far. I almost made it all the way around. I haven't done this in a long time. Also, y'all remember this chair? So I took two pictures after dinner here. Here's the first one. I don't know what Gabe did between this first picture and this second one, but uh, he is not happy with him. 